Hi, Bill Patterson, The Art of Evolution. Today we're going to do an episode on um, a painting that maybe you've got certain things in a painting you don't like or maybe you want to put something in, but in this case uh, we did a study in class, uh, have the bird right in the middle of the composition, which I don't like, so but the tree branch is kind of neat and I think I can do something with that, so unlike a lot of my old paintings where I just paint all over it and start all over again. Uh, it seems like the last couple of years I've been doing a little bit more of this because in school, since we've been little, we're taught to erase something. And when we erase something, normally that's because we've messed up. But erasing for the sake of erasing doesn't really help if you don't know what you're doing as far as trying to do the redrawing. So, And here it's kind of that more of that positive instead of negative effect. In other words, we haven't really messed up. We're just going to redraw something with space, in this case, color. I'm going to use uh, some brown, burnt umber, a little white. Not trying to really match. There's some cool different colors in it here. The full color scheme. What we're doing, just kind of re-blocking in. And then maybe the next episode I'll come back and actually put something else in here. Now if you've done this before, if you haven't, you know the paint has to be fairly thick because we are covering something up. Now it's a couple things. You could do this where you could work in layers, put a couple on, let it set, and come back and re-block it in. Uh, I could use a palette knife if I wanted to put a little bit thicker. But I'm just going to come over here, lay it over the top. Very, very dry paint. I don't want any washes on this one because of the transparency again. You could do this with a, uh, like I say, a palette knife. You could do it with a sponge. Just wanted to cover up. And even if I happen to cover up a particular area that I like, now he's got a talons there um, on the tree branch, which I may not take those out right today since we're just blocking it in. It's kind of funny with a little footsie sticking on the branch with nothing else around it. So you should be able to start seeing where it's starting to cover up. Now if I were trying to get match exactly, then I would come back and try to pick the color scheme behind it. And that's the thing where here is so many times when we work, if you, if you have a painting, you have a spot or something on it, which we all get. Never try to cover up one particular area. It's better to cover a large area because it's hard, almost impossible to match a certain particular color. And I've seen a lot of people end up doing more damage and wipe the painting completely out because they were trying to match a certain color. At least at the beginning. Okay, let's see if we can just very quickly. a little tail over here on this one. I keep saying I'm not trying to get rid of everything with the old uh, footsies on there. I may leave those on and come back and then later. Or may not put a bird in at all. That kind of pretty well covers it up. Used two colors. This is umber white. In this case it really wouldn't matter what color it is back there. Now to the negative space obviously we need something back here. I could maybe bring a tree branch up if I don't want to put a bird or something on here, or play something into the background, or maybe show an opening in the woods back here. So I'm kind of excited to think about what we'll do next. But if you haven't done this and you have paintings laying around, which we all tend to have some paintings laying around that's not always working. I remember Robert Bateman, when I met him years ago, he'd always said that he would leave paintings sometimes in a closet under the bed and come back and work on them for two or three years. And it's only been the last two or three years I've really done that because I do have so many paintings around. I do so many demonstrations. And sometimes you have one little quadrant area, maybe just one little particular area that you like, so instead of just wiping it all out, this is kind of a neat way of doing that. So anyways, I hope it's been helpful. Uh, if you haven't tried this, take a painting. Maybe something to do on purpose. Do something that you don't like and take it out.